this week on Future Car Design. Tesla chocolate chips, BMW reinvent the wheel with a joystick, the adorable e bassy modular van and a unique e-bike designed to blend with the urban architecture. Let's start. BMW recently patented what looks like a steering wheel without the wheel. Well, it's no big surprise considering a similar steering design was shown in the BMW iNext concept car. Are the Germans about to reinvent the wheel? Well, sort of. BMW is preparing for the autonomous future, or at least to the transitional period, before we reach level 5. I mean, full autonomy. Let's try to break down the steering design. It features two joysticks mounted on a single column, and it's easy to identify some controllers like the indicator switch on the left joystick and the windshield wiper switch on the right one. And if you look closely on the left hand side joystick, you'll spot the gear selector. And I speculate the left switch is for the driving mode or should I say riding mode, hence it's mostly aiming for autonomous cars. But the coolest element in the futuristic steering concept are the dual circular touch screens mounted on top of each joystick, presenting driving information to the driver, such as speed and other bits of indicators, as shown in the pattern drawing. There are more buttons and probably extra features we can't observe from a simple drawing, but I'm very curious about the operation of the circular slider around what I speculated to be the touch screen. But don't hold your breath. Car companies file enormous amounts of patents and only few of them really taking shape as an actual product. But hey, it's definitely more close in relation to a sci-fi spaceship controller rather to the good old steering wheel, and it's inspiring. I have to confess, after traveling across Japan for two months, I really fell in love with small and cubical cars, or vans, or K-cars, or whatever you want to call these toy-like vehicles Japanese really like. And with a good reason, they are highly spacious and practical, combining in a small and square package to fit the dense urban areas of Japanese cities. The e is just a concept at the moment, but a brilliant one. The concept designed by a German startup called Electric Brands and features many body styles configurations, thanks for its modular electric powertrain that serves as the base for the pickup truck body or a people carrier if you like. But above all, it's the smiley and good vibe exterior styling. The e definitely takes cues from all the new vans and cars like VW Microbus and the electric on the e. I think they did a great job on the styling as well as on the conceptual thinking. I would definitely want to own one if it was real. Is it an electrical cabinet? A bench? A drinking fountain? This is a graffiti-covered e-bike designed to blend in the urban architecture, and it's brilliant. Combining a Cybertruck look with cues from urban visual elements, like the sprayed graffiti and the industrial hair arches, it really blends amazingly, and it's practical too. What a unique and cool design. I love it. In a world full of electric bikes that basically looks the same, one brilliant designer in the name of Joy Reuter came up with a disruptive concept as reported in Yanko Design. And I have to admit, I don't really like two wheels vehicles or bikes or whatever, but this one is certainly caught my attention. Is Tesla is about to enter the chocolate chips cookies market? Well, this idea sounds crazy at first, but considering Tesla is already selling underwear, t-shirts, and even a f not a flame floor, everything is possible. Even a tequila brand called Tesla Kila is about to debut sometime in the future, as Elon Musk promised. 
but in this case Tesla isn't really involved yet, but definitely should. As reported in Bloomberg and other media sources, senior industrial designer Remy Lepescu currently working at Tesla Solar, developing a unique chocolate chips as part of a side project aiming to reinvent the baking material in order to create the best chip for the experience of tasting chocolate. The good old chocolate chip's teardrop shape hasn't been changed for over 8 years and doesn't serve these popular cookies properties as well as it should be, apparently. Therefore, Remy came up with a diamond-like shape. This form has a distinctive look as well as a great functionality. Due to the unique chip shape, the chocolate melts from the center inside out and the frame stays firm inside the oven in order to deliver the perfect melt on your tongue experience. Remy designed the thin melt in your mouth edges to be sturdy enough to hold their shape in baking and not to break when even the chip is unmolded. Well Elon, now that Tesla can play Netflix, I think chocolate chip cookies are perfect match. And if it's not a hustle, I would like some hot chocolate powder too. Thanks. Well, that's all for this edition of Future Car Design News. If you stayed until now, I really appreciate it and I'm sure you will enjoy my other videos on Electric Design Channel in which I redesign combustion engine cars to look like their electric versions as well as car redesigns and styling refresh for famous electric cars. So be sure to check it out and subscribe because there's a lot of future car design content already and much more coming. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.